Hello, Karina Essa here from Social Media Worldwide. And in this video, I want to share with you the eight ways to increase your Facebook group members. Facebook groups are spaces for people who share the same interests to communicate with each other, share ideas and resources, and get to know each other better. There are many benefits to having a Facebook group. First, with a Facebook group, you can build a community of like-minded people. Unlike Facebook pages where anyone can become a fan, Facebook groups allow you to control and pre-qualify who joins, turning Facebook groups more like a community of people who talk to each other, know each other and support each other. Another benefit of having a Facebook group is that there is no limit to how many Facebook members it can have. Unlike your Facebook profile, which can only have a maximum of 5,000 friends, Facebook groups allow you to have as many Facebook members as you want. Plus, with Facebook groups, you have much more control over who joins it if it's a Facebook closed group. People have to send a request which can be accepted or rejected by the administrator of the group. Plus, with membership requests, you can learn more about people who want to join your group by asking them up to three questions. You can even control who posts on their Facebook group and you can even choose to pre-approve the posts before they get published. This is why it's important to put some effort into growing your Facebook group members. There are many ways you can do so. First, enable the feature any member can add members. This feature allows existing Facebook group members to grow your group on your behalf. The second way to grow your group members is by inviting your existing Facebook friends to join. You'll notice a tab called Invite below your group banner. Simply click on it and choose among your Facebook friends who you'd like to invite to join the group. The third strategy is incentivizing people through special offers available only to group members. This strategy will work only if your special offers can only be seen by group members, so make sure you don't promote the same incentives to people outside the group. For example, if you've created a group exclusive to golfers, you can incentivize more golfers to join by giving away free tutorials or a discount code for your products. The fourth strategy is to use the About section of your group to explain why people will benefit from becoming a member. The more benefits you list, the more likely people will want to join. For example, the benefits could be exclusive access to discounts, monthly giveaways exclusive to group members, live Q&A sessions with notable personalities, daily important updates, any question answered within 24 hours. Members can potentially promote their own products and services to other group members. The fifth strategy is to promote your group on your other touch points. If you have an email database of people who are the target audience you're looking for, then send them a personalized email with a link to your group, inviting them to join. Make sure your email also lists all the benefits they'll enjoy as members. If you have a Facebook page with fans who are your target audience or have an account on other social media platforms such as LinkedIn and Twitter, publish a post inviting your audience to join the group. You can even promote the post even further by using Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads and Twitter ads targeting a specific group of people who match the target audience you are after. For example, if you have a golf Facebook group, you can target men and women who like brands such as TaylorMade and Callaway. Since these brands sell golf equipment, it's a clear indication that people who follow these brands on social media play golf. The sixth strategy to grow your Facebook group members is to promote your group on your thank you page. A thank you page is a web page people land on after they've registered to something you've offered. For example, if you have a webinar registration page or newsletter lead capture page, you can invite people to join your Facebook group on the page they get redirected to after they register to your webinar or subscribe to your newsletter. The thank you page doesn't have to be sophisticated. It can simply state, thank you for subscribing to our newsletter, click here to join our Facebook group and meet like-minded people. The seventh strategy to increase your Facebook group members is to manage it well. As the owner of the Facebook group, you have to ensure that people don't spam it or don't use it as an outlet to complain. This will affect other members' experience and they could leave the group or not invite others to join. Therefore, check it daily and delete anything that breaks the rules of the group and remind the rules to the members who breach them. If the rule of the group is that it's a complaint-free group, then remind them if they're using the group to share their grievances publicly. If the rule of the group is to get permission before promoting their products or services and some members don't, remove their promotional post and send them a private message explaining why. A well-managed group is the key to keeping and growing its members. 
Lastly, to grow your Facebook group members, you can leverage the influence of some of your group members. Chances are some of your members have an engaged and large following on their own social accounts. If that's the case, contact them privately and incentivize them to promote your Facebook group. You can either pay them to do so or offer them your product or service for free or offer to do the same for them and promote them to your social media audience in exchange. So there you have it, the eight effective ways to grow your Facebook group members so you can have easy access to an engaged audience who knows, likes and trusts you. Thanks so much for watching this video. To support our channel, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.